एम एस रामया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर डिटरमाइनिंग द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ सीमेंट अपारेटस रिक्वायर्ड स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी बॉटल वेइंग बैलेंस कैरोजीन डिस्टिल्ड वाटर Specific gravity is normally defined as the ratio between the mass of a given volume of material and mass of an equal volume of water. One of the method of determining the specific gravity of cement is by the use of a liquid such as kerosene which does not react with cement. Specific gravity G is equal to mass of given volume of material divided by mass of equal volume of water procedure take about 50 grams of cement weigh the empty specific gravity bottle let the mass of empty bottle be a grams fill the bottle with distilled water and weigh the bottle filled with water let the mass be b grams empty the specific gravity bottle and fill it with kerosene let the mass be c grams pour some of the kerosene out and introduce a weight quantity of cement into the bottle roll the bottle in inclined position until no further air bubbles rise to the surface fill the bottle to the top with kerosene and weigh let the mass be d grams From these data calculate the specific gravity of given cement sample Specific gravity is given by the equation as shown Data collection and tabulation is as shown in the table Hi students now we are going to do the specific gravity of cement experiment okay so what do you mean by specific gravity it is defined as the ratio of weight of any material to the weight of equal volume of the standard material so uh, if you remember how we did for fine aggregate we are taken the water as a standard material here for the cement i cannot take a water as a standard material why means if i mix water with the cement what is going to happen it is going to happen with the hydration process so what i am going to do i am going to consider kerosene as a standard material and we are going to do the specific gravity test okay so let us go to the apparatus required so the first apparatus required is a weigh balance of 1 gram accuracy the second apparatus is the density bottle or it's also called as a specific gravity bottle the third thing i require the kerosene at last i require the water i also taken some cement sample where the specific gravity has to be determined let's start the experiment first time what i'm going to do is i'm going to take up the empty weight of density bottle along with the knob for this what i am going to do is i am going to add this completely with water so I completely added this with water and w2 is noted out what i am going to do is after noting w2 i completely remove this water and i am going to completely fill this with kerosene after completely filling with kerosene i'm going to note down a weight once again 
I'm going to remove this complete kerosene. And I'm going to add around 30 grams of cement to the density bottle. After adding cement, I am going to take up the weight of bottle plus cement. Then after doing this, what I am going to do? I am going to completely fill the remaining portion of bottle with kerosene. I will take W5 the weight of kerosene plus cement plus bottle the density bottle using this five readings we are going to determine the specific gravity of the cement using the given formula so generally for a 33 grade opc cement your specific gravity will lie somewhere in between 2.9 to 3 for 43 grade cement it will be 3 to 3.05 or sometimes up to 3.1 also for 53 grade cement your specific gravity value will lie somewhere in 3.1 to 3.15 so this is how the specific gravity of cement is conducted and this completes the experiment at msr uas we spark your imagination unlike any other